वेलकम टू मेडिकल डायलॉग्स शो आई एम डॉक्टर नंदिता मोहन एंड टुडे वी आर एट द इंडिया लाइफ 2024 व्हिच इज द पैरामाउंट ग्लोबल कार्डियोलॉजी इवेंट व्हिच इज होस्टेड बाय इंटरवेंशनल कार्डियोलॉजी फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंडिया द कॉन्फ्रेंस बेसिकली फोकसेस ऑन इंटरवेंशनल कार्डियोलॉजी व्हिच इज एनेबलिंग क्वालिटी आउटकम्स ऑफ हार्ट पेशेंट्स now i am here to cover one such topic that is digital therapeutics and one organization that comes to mind is lupin digital health lupin digital health and the american college of cardiology which is the global scientific leader in the practice of cardiology have announced a first of its kind collaboration to deliver in home cardiovascular care with digital therapeutics in india now this collaboration basically aims to accelerate the application as well as the adoption of digital therapeutics in cardiology in india now so to address the cardiac burden in india ldh that is lupin digital health launched life one year back which is a ground breaking digital therapeutic solution which is designed to monitor and manage acute coronary syndrome patients using advanced technologies so to talk to us in detail about how lupin digital health is revolutionizing healthcare in india by improving outcomes reducing rehospitalizations and making healthcare more convenient by leveraging the digital therapeutics and remote patient monitoring we have with us today mr Dhat Srinivasan who is the CEO Glupin Digital Health to give us his valuable insights. Welcome to Medical Dialogue sir. It's really happy to have you on board here with us today. Wonderful to be here and you can call me Sir or Siddharth. I'm not used to sir, you know. Okay. Great, great. Uh so sir primarily okay Siddharth uh, primarily if you can just explain to us what is digital therapeutics and how does it differ from the traditional medical treatment? Uh so digital therapeutics essentially is using technology uh to either prevent a condition treat or manage a condition uh there's nothing different uh from what was done in the past it's just that if someone were to tell you uh, that in a world where every person has a smartphone where every person is connected at all times where there are technologies like ai would you not use that to complement the care the patient gets when he goes to the hospital i think the answer would be yes right uh, is there a way that the patient can stay connected and whenever they face an issue that issue is automatically flagged uh, so that we are able to take action in at the right moment i think the answer would be yes so that's essentially dtx uh, we at lupin digital are bringing digital therapeutics to cardiology uh, simply because that's the single largest disease burden in india right we have more than 30 crore indians our brothers and sisters who have cardiac issues uh, and that is something where technology can play a huge role great uh, so uh, now that you're talking about digital health and how are if i may just ask how are healthcare providers integrating the digital therapeutics into their treatment plans and also patient interactions how is the com- communication going on uh, so i think uh, it's it's obviously synergistic it's not something that competes with the other uh, so typically how we onboard a patient is a patient goes to a cardiologist typically as a follow up for when they've had an angioplasty right and uh, they have a ton of questions for the cardiologist which the cardiologist may not even be able to answer in say 10 15 minutes that he has right he's also extremely busy so what the cardiologist will then say is that there is this comprehensive rehab program that will improve your health outcomes that will do 27 247 monitoring and also drive your compliance to my protocol right so why don't you consider this so that's a prescription from the doctor uh and then we are counseling the patient and we onboard the patient right so that's how the patient gets associated with us uh, what we make available to the patient is an app and a whatsapp channel where they are able to stay connected with us 24/7 we give them an ambulance number so we are available again 24/7 for ambulances we provide it within 25 minutes in 700 towns across india so you could be a gorakhpur and we'll still make sure an ambulance gets you in 25 minutes uh we drive your compliance and we have five experts we have have a care manager who's typically a doctor like yourself uh we have a uh, nutritionist who we call a coach we have a uh, physiotherapist who's a cardiotherapist specialized into cardiac uh we have someone who works on mindfulness and mental health uh and of course we have a psychosocial counselor and these five resources are working with every patient to make sure that we are able to bring them back to even better health than what they had before their cardiac event so it is that kind of complementary approach
Great. Uh, so that integration is definitely going a long way. Now coming to talk about Life, the mobile application that you just told me about. Uh, it was launched a year back by Lupin Digital Health. So how has it contributed or helped patients take care of their heart health in the past year? How has the experience been? Sure, I think uh, we've spent more than 4,000 hours talking to patients, right? Uh, so that itself, I think, has gone a long way. Uh, we have more than uh, 5,000 patients enrolled onto the platform who are actively using it. Uh, and therefore, um, I can't count the number of instances we've actually had SOSs, we've saved lives. Uh, we've ensured a patient gets to the hospital or we've detected a symptom three, four days in advance, which the people had checked out, if not had been life-threatening. Uh, so I think we've already made that small contribution where uh, at least some patients tell us that today we are here because of you, uh, right? So that's a great feeling for us. Uh, and uh, we, uh, from the doctor perspective, we have more than 700 cardiologists signed with us, who onboarded with us, which means that they trust the evidence, they trust what we bring to the table and therefore they would be able to give their patients uh, or they recommend to their patients our platform. Uh, 25 hospitals have signed with us which means that the hospital is recommending our cardiac rehab as part of their discharge protocol uh, right and uh, we are also doing trials with insurance companies. So this will only grow as we go forward. Definitely, uh, it's going to go a long way for sure. So if I may just ask a little bit in detail, uh, how many subscribers have been added in the last one year? Over 5,000, like I mentioned, paying subscribers and we also have a lot of hundreds of patients on various clinical trials which are part of the program. So we have uh, three trials, one which we've already published, one which is currently under publication. We've seen fantastic results, right? So our patients have their BP under control, 14 mmHg lower than the patients who do not, who are not on the the control group not on the program uh, six beats lower heart rate 0.7 percent uh, lower hpa1c significantly better quality of life uh, for our patients uh, so we have those trial patients as well so that's wonderful uh, the figures are going a long way definitely uh, so now lastly if i may just ask you how many cardiologists have been uh, certified for adoption of digital therapeutics so we have uh, more than 700 uh, cardiologists who are onboarded uh, I think what you're referring to is a path-breaking initiative where we've exclusively partnered with the American College of Cardiology to create a certification, a digital therapeutics pioneering certification. Uh, I think we've had perhaps the first 20-25 uh, cardiologists getting certified uh, by the ACC. This includes some of the major names of cardiology in India, but equally some very sort of upcoming doctors, right? And you see that very healthy mix. So we have patients from the age of 22 to 96. Uh, in fact, we I think the day before yesterday, we onboarded an 18-year-old. So yes, we have that range of patients. And in terms of doctors also, you have very budding new DMDNB cardiologists and you have the stalwarts, all who are part of the platform, right? Because ultimately, if a doctor is very passionate about health outcomes, which I think all doctors are, and if they feel that we could be the right partner, because they know that patient has so many queries once he goes back home, right? He has so much need for specialized information on diet, on exercise, on nutrition, on cardiotherapy, which even the doctor cannot provide, right? It's not his key expertise. Uh, why not leverage a system like ours? And I think coming from Lupin, they know that our hygiene is in place. We've invested in trials. We are ISO 27001, so information security is paramount. We are HIPAA compliant. We are compliant with the DPDP norms of the government. So I think there's a lot of trust that cardiologists and hospitals have to partner with us. Great. Uh, so thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Mr. Siddharth, for joining us today at Medical Dialogues. It was lovely to be interacting and also gaining all the valuable insights. And definitely, I wish the figures go sky high in the near future as well. Thank you for joining us and giving us your valuable time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.